The dark and mysterious depths of the ocean have been washing up onto our beaches. The infamous doomsday fish, giant squids, and even alien creatures are making striking appearances. Aliens do inhabit our seas, or actually, maybe not. This post went absolutely viral over social media towards the end of last year, had people baffled. It appeared to be an incredibly long specimen with barnacles or clams attached to its translucent appendages. Some people even described this thing as something a mermaid would have in their hair. But like most things, there's an answer for pretty much anything. These are known as goose barnacles, and they will latch onto just about anything. And what everyone was looking at was in fact just a cluster of them altogether. An ecologist named Dr. Zoe Doubleday stated, I've never seen anything like it, and it just must be an old pylon from a jetty or some piece of marine infrastructure that has been in the water for such a long time to grow a dense cluster of barnacles. It's been there for a long time. The clear appendages that you see actually help filter out plankton and other food in the water. And considering its size, Doubleday theorizes that it broke off a mothership of a cluster somewhere down below and washed up to shore. However, they are also an incredibly expensive dish to eat, with a single pound of them going for $125. I'd give it a shot, sure. Doomsday is upon us, and these mythological looking fish are giving us a sign. Scientifically known as the oarfish, these big boys can grow to about 30 feet in length, and were often mistaken as sea monsters in Japanese folklore, which had also given them the nickname the Doomsday Fish. They have a long ribbon-like appearance that aids them in camouflage while they swim, with their silky bodies from far away almost looking like patches of light underneath the water. This specific 3.3 meter oarfish was discovered off the shores of California in November of 2024, and scientists are not really sure why. Oarfish usually like to spend their time in the deepest depths of the ocean all over the world, and to have one be brought up to the shores like this often gets mistaken as harbingers of disaster. Because of their location, scientists don't know too much about them, so to have some start washing ashore may bring better insight. In total, since 1901, there had been 22 scientific recordings of this mysterious creature. With this story too, the doomsday fish was actually almost swept up by surfers because they thought it was cool, but thankfully stopped by the original person who found it so that it could be taken in for research. What a save. Deep sea anglerfish are making shocking appearances on the beaches of Southern California, with this most recent one happening in 2023. Anglerfish are usually only found 3,300 feet below the ocean's surface, with 200 to 300 different species known so far, and this one that they discovered was the Pacific football fish. Its skin is very prickly, with clear thorn-like additions along its body. They can eat anything that they can catch in the dark depths, using its little bioluminescent light that hangs out in front of them to lure its prey. And fun fact, it's only the female anglerfish that do this, while also being 10 times larger than the males. What the males do instead is that they latch on to the female anglers for the rest of their lives, providing their nutrients in exchange for the nutrients that the female captures while hunting. Like most deep sea fish, scientists still don't know too much about this creature either. They're trying to reassure people that this sudden wave of deep sea creatures washing ashore isn't something to be alarmed about at least for right now. Hoodwinker sunfish are usually only ever found in the temperate waters of the southern hemisphere, so to have one mysteriously washed up to Oregon's northern coast was a draw for concern. This rare big boy was washed up in July of 2024 as well, and measured to 7.3 feet. Thanks to its thick skin though, scavengers weren't able to get their hands on it, and it was discovered by a group of people who worked in a nearby aquarium. Since this isn't the first time a hoodwinker fish washed ashore in California and Alaska, it's actually beginning to challenge the fact that they can only be found in temperate waters. If anything, the hoodwinker is a different species of sunfish, often mistaken as the mola mola sunfish. One researcher, Jackie Hildering, stated, it's inspiring that we still live in a time where we can find out that a fabulously odd looking fish, which was presumed to be just one species, actually has a fabulously odd looking cousin that's also in our waters. It's also been stated that because they were so overlooked, they weren't properly noticed for 130 years. 
a healthy great white washing ashore as well. It's one thing to be coming towards the end of life, but being healthy sparks a whole new conversation. A 14 foot long great white shark was found washed up along the shores of Nova Scotia. What originally happened was that it apparently got itself stuck near the North Bay Wharf, where people had noticed it thrashing around before being completely stranded on Broad Cove Beach. People rightfully left it alone to see if it could escape on its own somewhere without interference but sadly it could not. So at this point, scientists took up this opportunity to do some research on it. It was perfectly fine from what they could tell, as there were no damages done on the inside, and any previous harm that was done on the outside had long since healed. So it definitely left them stumped as to what happened during the time of it being stranded. It's not the only great white shark to have been seen washed up in this area, with a total of five being recorded in the last 20 years, when before that, it was much more rare. Researchers said that they are sure to keep an eye out as to why this could be happening. A fish that likes to eat its own kind also from the deep sea's twilight zone, was spotted washed up along the Oregon coast. These are known as the lancet fish, and these aquatic monsters are also rarely seen, as they prefer to keep themselves down below at around 3,300 feet below the surface. However, they can also thrive as low as 6,500 feet as well. They are also one of the largest deep sea fishes that can grow up to about 7 feet in length, and have a freaky looking fin that travels down its entire body. Because of their gelatinous type of body, which isn't very good for long chases, scientists are speculating that they may in fact be ambush style fishes. They'll stay perfectly still in the water, with their reflective body almost looking like patches of light, until the perfect prey comes along to snatch them up. Researchers are also guessing that they may be bulk feeders, since the few times that they have looked into their stomachs, all their meals are perfect all their meals are in perfect condition due to the lack of continuous digestion. They'll hold on to the meals as much as they'd like and digest it later if need be. When a giant squid washes up to shore, people are going to notice, especially with this 11 foot squid that was found along the shores of South Africa, specifically the rocky areas of Scarborough Beach in Cape Town. The biggest squid that was ever recorded was 43 feet long, while some even estimate that they can grow as big as 66, although there isn't that much evidence to prove that theory. Giant squids are usually found within frigid waters, going as far down below between 1640 feet to 3280 feet below. They have gigantic eyes, the biggest in the world actually, to help them navigate through the darkness and have the longest tentacles of any squid. We know nothing about how they properly mate or where they even lay their eggs, making them all the more bigger of a mystery. In total, there's possibly around 8 species overall in the world, but again, not for certain. Maybe we would have known more if they didn't eat each other. That's right, they will nibble on their own kind as well, based on what was found inside of their stomachs whenever they were caught or watched washed up to shore. Shockingly as well though, also tapeworms. Even down in the deep blue, you can't hide from them. An extremely rare white humpback whale was found along the beaches of Australia. The photographer, Peter Coles, had told Sky News it was pure white. I thought it looked like a sculpture. It almost didn't look real. What we might assume is albinism is actually a similar condition called leucism, where only some of the individual cells are affected when trying to produce melanin, since the whale was also discovered to still have some dark patches along its body. There's also the theory that its original layer of what could have been darker skin was probably washed away as it decomposed on the beaches. These beauties are apparently well known for their elaborate courting and singing. They can grow up to 52 feet in length and weigh a hefty 36 metric tons. Their singing can last anywhere between 5 to 35 minutes and can change depending on what region they're from, and sometimes just due to overall time. They're also known to be one of the most acrobatic aquatic mammals as we've all probably seen when they breach the waters and then land back down with a large slapping sound. Quite scary though if you get too close to them when it's happening. Have you ever seen something crazy wash ashore? Let me know down below, and I will see you all in the next video. Stay creepy. Want to see more videos like this one? Check out this video next. It's about real alien sightings that the government doesn't want you to see. Click the video now to find out more. What are you waiting for?